But stick around. This story is crazy. And it's about as sturdy as cotton candy and gravitational lensing. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. Stay cool. This is a Thor news presentation. Thor news presents. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. We're talking about aliens, man. All right, we are at I fortuitously love science. Talk, talking about Tabby Cat Star. And apparently science is saying it's not aliens, but it's aliens. It's not aliens, but it's aliens. You see, Megastructure Star keeps getting stranger. Stars are strange when you're a stranger. Asteroid disks look ugly when you're alone. What? Okay. My brain is broken. We're talking about space, because space is everywhere. One of the proposed explanations for Kick 8462852's behavior was material thrown up by a planetary collision, as shown here in the artist's impression. However, this is a poor fit with the latest findings. Last year, astronomers noticed something very odd about a star called Kick 8462852. It was experiencing huge, unexplainable dips in brightness. And in human beings, that's usually attributed to alcohol use, especially tequila. But since stars don't drink alcohol, this explanation could not be used. The theory that caught the public imagination was that aliens were building a giant megastructure around it is almost certainly wrong. But that's a horrible sentence. The theory that caught the public imagination that aliens were building a giant megastructure around it is almost certainly wrong. But the mystery continues to deepen. Okay, if it's not aliens, and it's not space whipped cream, and it's not dark matter... It's not Comet. What do you think it is, bro? The latest development is that the overall brightness of the star has been steadily decreasing over the last few years, alongside these much larger dips in brightness. And none of the proposed theories can seem to explain it. Scientists use the Kepler Space Telescope, you know, because they've only got really, like, two choices. Should we use the Hubble or should we use the Kepler? You know, you'd think that maybe science would put up some more telescopes, maybe do it a little faster than the 25 years it takes to replace the Hubble. Scientists used the Kepler Space Telescope to observe that the star became 3% fainter over four years. Even though it is very unlikely to be aliens, the explanation for Kick 8462852's behavior, when we find it, will probably shake up an area of astronomy. We just don't know which one. Maybe all of them? Okay, maybe all of them. During the time Kepler first observed Kick 8462852, it experienced a series of dips in brightness. Have you already discussed that like eight times? What the hell? In a manner never seen in any star of its age and type. Several explanations were proposed. Maybe the star was having sex. Maybe the star was giving birth. Maybe the star was coughing. Maybe the star was playing hide and seek. Maybe the star was lazy. All of them were unlikely explanations. Most famously, there was the explanation that aliens were building a vast construction around the star, occasionally obscuring our view. Kick 8462852, also known as Tabby Star, after Dr. Tabitha Boyajian, the original paper's first author, was promptly dubbed the Alien Megastructure Star. Subsequent research suggested that this idea was very unlikely. However, what was initially the leading alternative, a swarm of interfering comets, has a few problems too, leaving everyone bewildered. This year, some astronomers claim to have found that Kick 8462852 has been dimming for a century. But in May, a rival team argued this was an effect of using different telescopes. Oh, rather than real changes in the store. Oh, I didn't know that. Telescope user error? Now, however, a preprint of a yet-to-be peer-reviewed paper has been placed on Arvix, claiming Tabby Star, claiming Tabby Star became fainter throughout the time Kepler was observing it. Unlike the original dips, which saw Kick 8462852 fade briefly before returning to its previous brightness. The new claims are for long-term fading as well. I'm so faded. Which so far has not been reversed. Authors Ben Montel, a graduate student at Caltech who likes to wear Jack Parsons underwear on his head, and Carnegie Institute's Dr. Josh Simon, who's invented a new kind of dark matter cheese, conducted an analysis of the raw pixel data. I'm sure it's at least one or two pixels. Really good pixels. They're like one or two really great pixels. From Kepler's 53 images of Kick 8462852, taken between 2009 and 2013. In addition to the week-long dip in brightness that first brought the mysterious star to wider attention, the nine shorter dips, they report a slower but ongoing dimming. Man, this article's kind of dimming. This whole story's kind of dimming, you know? It's so pretty much the thing's getting, the star's getting fainter, and we don't know what caused it. Maybe it's dying. Over the first thousand days, Tabby Star 
faded approximately linearly at a rate of whatever. Then it dimmed much more rapidly in the next 200 days. Maybe it's fire is going out, bro. And it makes me think maybe we don't know jack shit about what our sun is doing. Yeah, by that line, it looks like that star is dying. Maybe it's not always a supernova. Maybe it's not always a supernova. Maybe some stars just burn out and fade away. That's sad and depressing. Okay, peace out. God bless everyone. Have a great day. It's like a cliffhanger. Sweet.